Welcome back Hampton Roads. If you have a dog, you probably heard of pup cups and throughout the month of September, you get one at Dairy Queen. You're also getting back to local animal shelters. Here to tell us about this is Matthew Bean of Dairy Queen and Mandy Kowalski from the Virginia Beach SPCA. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, so pup cups. I see we have a lovely little pup. He's so cute. So tell me a little bit about um, the meaning behind these pup cups. What are they doing for the SPCA? So the pup cups are really just a way that we've found to give back to local shelters in the community. We have a tendency to give them to our customers throughout the year as just a gift for the dogs in the car. Mm -hmm. um, during this time of the year we actually charge for them but then all of the money that we raise goes directly into the local shelters. So Virginia Beach SPCA is one of them. Mm -hmm. We also work with Peninsula SPCA, Norfolk SPCA, and the Chesapeake Humane Society. Nice. And so for the SPCA, what does this donation mean when people buy these pup cups? at Dairy Queen. Well, this is a partnership that's been going on for several years, and we're so thankful to be part of it. Um, mm -hmm. All of the money that our shelter receives goes directly into caring for our animals. So as a nonprofit, it's so important, and we really re appreciate any community, community involvement we can get to support our animals. So in terms of the Pup Cups, how many do you hope to sell in this little uh, event? I would love to sell 10,000. We, yeah. we usually sell them around 6,000. Okay. Um, our best performing store is the one at Granby, um, mm -hmm. in Ocean View, I should say. And they they sell about 700 each year. If everybody did that many, we'd sell 10,000. That'd yeah. be great. So. And how much are these pup cubs? They're $1.39 each. Okay, so in terms of pets, I don't own a sweet dog like this one, but are, uh, is ice cream safe for puppies to eat? Yeah, so plain vanilla ice cream like that, unless your your pet has digestive issues, if they have a, a, a history of upset tummy, obviously, maybe mm -hmm. not. But even if a couple licks would probably be okay. But no toppings or anything like that. Don't give them a blizzard or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have the plain vanilla, but what's that little special thing on top? Is that a doggy treat? Yeah, we put a little mm -hmm. mini milk bone on there. So just so that way we can give the dogs an extra crunch and an added topping that's not <laughs> chocolate or something mm -hmm. like that. So. so who do we have here today? Who's this sweet pup? This is Camilla. She's 10 years old and she's a, a little hound mix. She's been with us for about two months and she is more than ready to find her forever home. However, she'll settle for a pup cup for today. But if you're looking to adopt, she She's a calm, old, older lady who would love a great home. Oh, Camila. So, Camila, then we have a little treat for you today, don't we? Are you ready for What's a little that? treat? <laughs> you want me to give it to her now? Yeah. Hey, Camila. Hey. Do you, want, do you want some ice cream? So if people were wanting to adopt um, from the Virginia Beach yeah. SPCA, what are the adoption fees? What's the process to go through that? So you come by and meet oh, the animal. Yeah, if you sweetheart. jive with the animal and mm -hmm. want to put in a, an application, our staff will help take care of all of that. Mm -hmm. Once everything's approved, we'll get you set up with an adoption appointment and you'll head home with your new pet. That's awesome. <laughs> So when is this um, pup, the Pup Cup day for people so they know when to go by? So Pup Cups runs actually all September long. So nice. it starts on September 1st, which is tomorrow right now. Yes. Um, but yeah, so it'll run all the way to the very end of September and it's every day at 15 locations across Hampton Roads. You can get those locations at dqhamptonroads.com. So. And uh, one more thing. So if people are like, oh, my dog can't eat ice cream, what can they do instead of just buying a Pup Cup? So we definitely take donations for this cause as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do at that point is we ring it out as a pup cup and mm -hmm. it would be a donation in an increment of $1.39. So also we've had people that are, have reached out to me directly into our stores about um, buying them for other people, which is kind of a fun thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday we had a local business that reached out and they said they just wanted to give them out to their customers. Oh, so um, definitely something that is, uh, there are other ways to participate in it other than um, just buying <laughs> your pup and ice cream. Um, but, but I think they like it though, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so cute. They're definitely happy with it. So. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, Camilla, for coming by. You were such a good guest. If, again, if you want to do this, it's all through the month of September to help the local SPCAs. We're back with more news and weather after the break.